I've just come into Quincy, Illinois and pulled up at a boat dock and lo and behold there's a canoe here and uh, I'm thinking is someone on a journey and then I notice the number 13 on the bow I've got one registered in Minnesota looks like these guys are going down the river too I'm gonna go try and find them that's awesome I found the canoeist his name is Evan hello <laughs> buddy tell us what you're doing doing down the river to St. Louis to St. Louis. Some would say lazy. Some would say that's amazing. Tell us a little bit about your trip. Have you been enjoying yourself? Yeah, sometimes. Have you been behaving yourself? No, I got really... Well, I had a couple beers last night. <laughs> and that's why I was stuck in Quincy for a while. I feel like a human again. He certainly didn't look this tanned when I met him earlier. Very pale face, very <laughs> sheepish, very embarrassed at himself. <laughs> Quarter to four in the afternoon traveled merely 11 miles that's quite a lazy performance it's too hot over here Come on, guys. hello governor how are you oh good you're a Hi. star thank you thank you in the 1065 miles that you've traveled so far more or less how many paddle strokes do you think you've taken each paddle stroke is about uh, two meters, and uh, I've done about 130 so far. <laughs> A mathematical genius. Can you believe that his shoulders are ever so small after all of that? Yep, I try to keep them small for the ladies. The ladies like everything small, trust me. We just pulled off on a lovely little sandbar. Today we've got Patrick. His Twitter handle is trail and error. Clever. First and last. So, I guess if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. <laughs> so I won't have any other days to compare it to. What are you doing? Eating some tuna fish with handmade chopsticks from this maple tree. I subsist mainly off tuna fish these days. People often ask me, why would you want fish if you're on a river? Um, I ask them why they want fish when on land. Are you aware that tuna in eight years will not exist because people like you eat it? It's probably dolphin anyway. Now that we're out of the wind, it's kind of hot. <laughs> what would you prefer, wind or heat? Hey! It's tough to say. Lock it through, how about? <laughs> uh, it's always the way to persuade a man with a badge to help you. <laughs> It is in America. I don't know what you limeys do, but yeah, we just say, hey, hey, and then you usually get tased. Tell me, Tom Sawyer, exactly where does the term limey come from? British sailors on ship of the lines cruising across the ocean blue for a long time. They didn't, they didn't know why their teeth were falling out and they were dying. And then someone figured out they need some citrus, sorbic acid, and then started crunching on some limes. And I mean, it didn't correct the teeth problem because that's just endemic to the British but it kept them from getting scurvy. <laughs> that, that is an absolute fact. All the way down the river people have been asking and it's usually the first question they ask what do you do at the locks and dams as though the only answer is we die. This is your first time through a lock or a dam isn't it Pat? That's correct. How are you feeling? I feel nervous, a little bit excited so you know, I'm just wanting to get through it. Hopefully I won't get injured or killed. I hear it's pretty dangerous. I don't know if this is exactly correct, but I was told that the Native Americans painted a, a really famous picture of this half dragon, half man right there. <laughs> 